Hey, um, welcome to uh, Humaniki 3D. Uh, totally not a game we chose because we needed a filler of 10 to 15 minutes. Um, this is a fan game made of the original Humaniki game, which is one of the most popular um, RPG Maker games, which is a psychological horror. This game takes the same concepts, but just does it differently. It's going to be creepy. But run-wise, it's not that uh, technical. But yeah, uh, I'm ready to go. All right, three, three, two, one, go. All right, so just like in the original Yuminiki, uh, there's a real world and a dream world. You don't really have anything to do in the real world, so you immediately go to the dream world. I'm also going to be sidestepping until I get the bicycle, because it's just way faster than walking normally. But that's only for like a couple of seconds because, as you can see on the top right of your screen, the bicycle's right there. Um, as I said, this game is not really that execution heavy whatsoever. It's just like it's like a walking simulator at this point, honestly. So it's just like trying to get the best possible corners. And besides that, you should be fine. This is a perfect game I would recommend if you just want a chill run, just a game you can speed run as like a secondary game or something. Um, something to keep in mind is before you enter any room in this game, you can basically buffer the camera or the, the angle you're looking at. It's really unprecise, so you can either go for it and like save, shave off a second or just completely look at the other side of the room. So, yeah. Um, anyways, the point of this run is basically you can only finish the game uh, by collecting every single item, which includes three keys. So you can't really, any percent is the only category, you can't really shave off any seconds with picking up less of items, because or else you wouldn't finish the game. Uh, as you guys saw, I just picked up the first key. Um, if you're already weirded out, don't worry, it, it's probably going to get weirder. Um, so as I mentioned in the beginning, you are basically in two worlds in this game. Right now I'm in a dream world, because this doesn't look real, let's be honest. Um, and yeah, you don't really have anything to do in the real world, so you just keep on sleeping and go back to the dream world. Here I'm going to wake back up and go back to sleep, because that's way faster than just walking back to uh, your room. The second key is going to be located in the 8-bit world, which is probably my favorite because I can play along with the music. If sticky keys are turned on, I might be screwed. <laughs> That's with my pinky, so I'm quite impressed as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so here we pick up two items, um, which is going to be the 8-bit uh, and the second key. So 
uh, the hitboxes of these stairs or holes you see in the ground can be very messed up. I've lost plenty of PBs because of them, so don't be surprised if I'm just looking at them for two seconds. I promise I'm trying. Here we have the 8-bit. Back to the area we just saw like 20 seconds ago. Um, yeah, you can't really do that uh, with any other item, unfortunately. Uh, oh yeah, about items. Uh, throughout the entirety of the run, we're gonna, just going to use the bicycle and just a bit of the knife that we're, you're going to see later on in the run. Just because of obvious facts, we're trying to play this as fast as possible, so bicycle being the best thing. This is probably like, all things considered, this game is really easy because all you have to do, remember is routing. This is probably the part that confused me the most because everything literally looks the same. Uh, so yeah. I only see that like wood there to the right. Anyways. Um, now we're going to enter probably my favorite room in the game. I don't know why. I just love the sound of this stage. It's like just random smokes or whatever. I don't know. I like it. Have I mentioned this game is weird? I don't know. Probably. Um, yeah. Also, I should probably mention that I haven't touched this game in three months, but that's besides the point. Um, I literally got, went in today to this event without having played it in three months, and I'm like, I got this. I'll try. And then I had two practice runs, and they went okay. All right. This house is really creepy. I don't like this house. I want to get out of this house. Good thing we're only here for like 10 seconds. All right, so in the next room, we're going to unequip my bicycle because we need to jump somewhere. Um, and uh, yeah, basically I'm trying to cancel my jump, as you can see, by jumping as late as possible. Uh, see, that wasn't good as an example. I just want to land as fast as possible. It can be really weird, so I don't lose that much time, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick up the key and go back to sleep, or wake up, actually. That was pretty slow, not going to lie. Uh, so that's key numero dos done. Now we're going to equip the bicycle as usual. Now we're going to pick up the knife in probably the creepiest world in the game, in my opinion. Don't worry, this is fine. <laughs> Uh, we'll pick up the knife, which will be very useful later on in the run. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to be like most of the... Uh, like Most of the runs I play when I'm done in the marathon, I'm like, hey, I suggest you to play this game or whatever. I would much rather tell you to play the original Imaniki game. It's not as easy, which I find good. I think it actually takes execution. You're In the original game, you're very, very fast, which is you use a glitch to go very fast, and that requires a lot of uh, execution. So yeah, I would recommend the uh, original game. If you just like to have a game where you can chill and run, I, I guess I recommend this game. There are like four runners, I think. I don't know. I hold world record because I totally didn't have anything to do with my time. Um... If you would have asked me, oh yeah, you can hear a beep, by the way, which is the room where we're trying to head at. So if we follow the sound, we'll uh, get to the room which has the third key in. There you go. So here you go. This jumping part can be really weird, by the way. Usually I skip the red one. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I wake up for the last... Is it the last time? No, it's not the last time. But I got Lasky, that's what matters. So now all we need is two more items, which is the monochrome and the palette. Don't worry, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about either. Uh, this was really cool, actually. I like the design of this for a lot. This speedrun is just like a sightseeing, like whatever, you know what I mean? Just me commenting on whatever I'm seeing on this journey. So these lines look really, I don't know, when I first saw them I thought these were really tight lines which are, were hard to cross. They're not at all. They're really forgiving. If you're not on the line, they don't care. They give you a boost. 
So right now we pick up the monochrome and uh, we go back to sleep or wake up, I should say. Uh, go back to sleep and we're on our way to get the last item. Which is kind of in the same room, kind of not. You're going to see. We're just going to take a left instead of a right as soon as we get there. Um, even though I mentioned before that this game doesn't have any other categories, I technically meant it in a way as like, you can't do it faster than any percent because you, ca you can't skip the items. But there's another uh, category which is called Uboa percent, which is ba consists of you spawning a monster that has a, um, a random chance of spawning in a room in this game. Uh, it's a it's a meme category, but it's really fun. And the thing is, it's uh, you need to go into a room. Uh, hold on, here I'm going to equip the knife real fast, walk sideways and kill one of those so they can let me in. But yeah, you need to go into a room, turn off and on the lights, and he has a chance to spawn. And that can be really scary because you never expect him to spawn, and they're just like, he, the monsters start screaming, so it's really funny. Right, here we are on our way to get... Uh, the last item. This reminds me of Pennywise, which is not a good thing at all. You have the pallet. Gonna wake up for the last time. Also, I've been on a... First time I was on world record pace, I got the pallet and I was shaking so much that I actually, instead of waking up, I clicked quits. Which was very nice. I was really pissed off. Anyways, uh, time's coming up, by the way. So here we are in the last room of the game. Um, as soon as we get in here, we're gonna get to the side a bit so we can just like spam the mouse button and put everything in, in at once. Alright, here you can see Yominiki with the thing and time. So yeah, that was really uh, a short game really, so I hope you play the original, it's really interesting. Uh, that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, play the original game as I said, it's wonderful, you won't understand anything. But yeah, enjoy the next run.